This fight is brought to you by Jim Ross Law Group. Call 817-275-4100 for your free initial consultation today. Impressive stuff tonight. Really impressive stuff. That being said, we're about to get ready for our main event for the 185 pound title. The middleweight title. The champ is here. The champ is here. Hayward, the hybrid Charles. Beastly. Fifteen and nine is his record. Is Making his way to the cage, Hayward, the hybrid Charles, number three ranked fighter at middleweight in the state of Texas. One of the top ranked middleweights in all the Southwest. Hayward is a submission expert. A submission expert. This young man, I got to tell you, I, we have watched him over the years pull out some sick things. He does, I mean, he's just just always been that good. But I truly believe he's going to face the challenge of his career tonight as he faces the champion in Kevin Holland. Twenty-eight years old is this man, built like a brick shit house. He's a training machine. Six foot one, 185 pounds. Formerly from Dallas area, now flying out Avon, Colorado. And he's going to fight the champ tonight, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. Ten wins, three losses. The number one ranked middleweight in all of Texas and one of the top ranked middleweights in the United States. Making his way to the cage. And your XKO reason. middleweight champion of the world. Be it on his feet. Kevin the Trailblazer. This man right here is an absolute machine. He's just a machine. Very reminiscent, very stylistic of a John Jones. He has tricks up his sleeve, he can strike at all angles. He's dangerous. With hands, feet, knees, elbows. Brown belt, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, strong ground game. Great fit, uh, game against the cage. And it's six foot three inches, 185 pounds. He's going to have the reach. He's got long limbs. And I got to tell you right now, why the UFC has not signed this kid? Because he has the personality. He can sell it. He's the type of guy you love or you hate. He's great behind a mic. He's all those things that a big MMA organization wants. So why the UFC, or for that matter, Bellator has assigned this young man to a contract is flicking beyond me. He is a absolute stud. Coming with his crew from Bailey, Coach D, Derwin Lamb. These two guys laughing already. You know, they laugh now. They're seasoned veterans, seasoned pros. 
There ain't going to be no laughing in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to recognize uh, the TDLR, Arturo Martinez, our judges, Kent Bessinger, Dan Matisson, and A.A. Ron Menard. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, you are watching XKO 39 at the one and only venue in Dallas, Texas, known as the Gas Monkey Live, here with a sold out crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, this is showtime as the main event of the evening for the XKO Middleweight Championship title of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is being brought to you by Jim Ross Law Group and is scheduled for five five-minute rounds in the XKO middleweight division. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the Young Ideas Blue Corner, freestyle fighter. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in 184 pounds, bringing to the cage 15 wins, nine losses, 14 wins by submission, one by KO, representing the hybrid nation MMA fighting out of Avon, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a returning veteran fighter building up the franchise here of XKO, Hayward, the hybrid Charles. And now your champion across the cage fighting at the Jim Ross Red Corner. Kung Fu is his game. He stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in 184 pounds. Bringing in the cage, 10 victories, three defeats, four wins by submission, six wins by KO and TKO. <laughs> Representing Phalanx MMA, buddy, out of Ontario, California, he is the reigning the defending XKO middleweight champion of the world, the one, the only, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before the action begins, Virgie Still Wagner. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. We'll touch gloves now if you want. Come back out on my, my call. Wow. Wow. Slated for five five-minute rounds, if that's what it takes. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I wouldn't be surprised if this ends in the first. I don't know how it ends. But I could see it ending in the first. Hayward Hyper Charles, Noah Black, Kevin Trebelozer Holland, and the black and white. Ladies and gentlemen, two of the biggest personalities in XKO history now are touching gloves. Touch of the gloves. We are live at XKO 39 around the world. Kevin Holland, the champion, and Hayward, the hybrid Charles, the challenger. Here we go. Here and, we go. Yeah, and the single leg that Hayward loves to do immediately goes to the ground. Hayward is a submission specialist. He has a 100% success finish rate. Talking about Hayward, the hybrid Charles, now looking for a full mount against the champion. He has the full mount against the champion, Kevin Holland. Well, Holland. Holland Kev is rolling, rolling. Kevin's at brown belt and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's talking to they're, him. They're talking he's to him, talking to him. They're talking and laughing. Hayward's got a little cut over the left eye, a little clash of heads, I believe. I mean, I, I mean, I tell you what, you got two guys that'll talk much shit to each other and, have fun, and have fun doing it. And this is where Hayward Charles has been successful at, right here. Yeah. Out of all of his wins, over 90% have been done by submission. Yeah, and he has got a submission game out of this world. Yes, he does. And he's trying to throw, right there, he's trying to throw in a Darsh choke. And Kevin, the champion, is fighting it right now. Yeah, that's, that's, boy, that's. Right now, the belt is hanging in the balance. 
I mean, he set up that dar so nicely. Kevin doing a good job answering the telephone is what we call it. Kevin is a game opponent. He is the champion for a reason. Yeah, and as soon as Hayward let go of that, Kevin, you know, right here, this is this is the thing. This is where this is where jujitsu doesn't get you everywhere you need to be. This is where you you need to have wrestling, freestyle. You need to have catch. Now he's going to a rolling, oh no, a, a mounted guillotine. He's going to try and crank the neck of Kevin. Not going to get it. Hayward knows it. He's not going to waste the energy. This is what we've all been waiting for to start off 2018. Man, I tell you. In MMA history. It doesn't Hayward look amazing shape. He does. The champion right now. Yeah, he's doing a good job blocking that. He's got to hold that. He's got to hold that. I, and it looks like he might be too high on the back of the head of Kevin Holland. No, no, no. He's under the chin. He's under the chin well. What he's got to do, Kevin has got to turn. He's got to roll out of this by protecting the neck. And Kevin the is breaking apart that hand right now. There yeah, it there, is. Yeah, and that that's is what he's got now. Great now, job by Hayward, the hybrid Charles. Now we're going to see where now we're going to see where Kevin Holland's defense lies. And look at Hayward. My God. And now he's going for an he arm turned on him. Wow, there it is. He turned on him. And Hayward going for an arm bar. I mean, this is a grappler's. Oh, and Kevin going with some Oh, he's nasty going ballistic elbows. on there. On the elbows. He's dropping the elbows. Man, I tell you what, he's this dropping is, the elbows. This is high he's dropping the elbows. This is high level grappling right here. Looking at us as we're commentating about him as he typically does. Oh, Drops man. him down. Man, and he just needs to hold this to one where minute and yeah, 55 and he, seconds and into round one here. Left. And look at him smiling at each other. They're they, having they a good smile time. because this is huge respect between two guys that know each other well and know each other how dangerous the next one is. Don't think the smile and they're taking this lightly, folks. That is mutual respect, a brotherhood that until you've been in this cage and fought at this level, you'll never know. And that was a freaking wicked elbow there by Kevin Holland. They're still talking to each other after dropping an elbow. Hayward's talking to him. Yeah, Kevin's and I'd, talking I'd, to and him. I'd like to see Kevin back out and try to go from his feet. I don't want to see him do this. I want to see him have to, you know, maybe stand up. Now this is where the roles have been reversed from submission to ground and pound. Yeah. Hayward needs to get out of that position. Yeah, and that's there it, yeah. he is. And He's Hayward, yeah. Hayward's monkey roll is one of the best in the business. I wasn't worried about him getting out of that. But Kevin has done such a good job of using those long limbs and his defense on the ground to strike. Man, Antonio. I'm telling you, Hayward knows what he's doing. Kevin Holland unleashing hell right now on Hayward, the hybrid Charles. Less than a minute. The Over. champion is right now 45 seconds into round one. And Hayward needs to tie him up here if he wants to see the second round. Referee's going to give a lot of leeway because these guys have got one is a champion. Man, fight. They're still talking to each other. Yeah, one is a championship fight, and two, both these guys have so much experience. You know, I like to see both these guys get out of round one and then look each other across the corner. Well, well, uh, well, now well, that's what you got to watch. They're both going for an ankle lock. Yeah, man, I tell you what, man, who's going to get? It's all who's going to get up faster. Man, this is and now the scramble. Ten now the seconds. Scramble. Now the scramble. Man, Ten this, seconds. If you want to see some high-level MMA, folks, you have just tuned into it. Kevin knows he's has to, he has to survive just for eight more seconds. Boy, and Hayward doing everything he can. And there, Holland turning around again, sliding out this side. There we go. One of the most energetic five minutes we have ever seen here. The crowd is on their feet. Not a person is sitting down. Unbelievable five-minute round. Unbelievable. Let me tell you, I don't care. Ultimate Fighting Championship, Bellator, one. I don't give a crap. You won't see a more amazing round in MMA with two high-level opponents than you just saw right here at XKO 39. You know, Kevin, okay, look at, look at the replay. And I love, I mean, the monkey roll that they were doing was unbelievable. We thought the choke was in there. Kevin got off his stool to look across the camera. Across the camera. Man, let, let, let me tell you right now, a guy like Hayward, he's in the best shape I've ever seen him, for one. Yes. To have that much muscle. Oh, here and we go. That much muscle and that much strength. And for Kevin to fight that, mind-boggling. Here we go. Round two. We get more. We get more action. Man, let me, here we go. I got to tell you, I I hope this goes five rounds. It's just so much fun. 
you know, I think that Kevin has finally met somebody that he really respects. Well, not that he had this he hasn't respect anybody else, but this is the fight that he's been looking for. Yeah, where I mean, I mean, he Kevin was really just tested. Oh man, missed that. Hayward's glad he missed that. Now, the dangerous thing about that, that's a great way to break your wrist. Yeah, it is. Break your hand. It is. Because the, the mat is not going to be as forgiving as the human body. Yeah, for sure. And now Kevin looking for, for, for a little something of himself. But if Hayward's in, an expert. Hayward's not going to Hayward's not gonna allow a submission. Ooh. Kevin going with the knees. And we know that Kevin now. And look at this. Look at Hayward switch around. Now he's going to try and pick up and run the shoot. And he, wow. And look at, look at the reversal by Holland. Got this it. is what you look at history books for Greco Roman wrestling. Yeah, guys the, 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 that this survive is, and die. That's in right. The this is this is freestyle at its best right here, folks. Kevin having to defend the takedown. Having to defend it. Man, and I tell you what, Hayward able to freaking yank him to the ground, that power and his ability. And how you know, I'll tell you right now, how frustrating. Oh, oh! And Hayward knows. Hayward oh. knows. Hayward knows what's coming. This is nothing new to Hayward Charles. Hayward knows this. He's even smiling about it. Hayward knows. I've seen like he's I've seen the Oma Plata once too many times. Let me just roll the hell out of that. Just expert level right there. You know, I'll tell you right now, I know these guys have the best conditioning in the world, but they've not faced themselves and that's what they're facing right now a perfect reflection of themselves and i mean yes. as far as the athleticism yes. athleticism being evenly matched i mean kevin definitely getting more of the striking in and things like that hayward's put on a clinic for movement and ground and pound or excuse me movement and submission attempts you know we're talking about a guy like kevin holland who's faced some of the best in muay thai he's faced now he's facing one of the best in the world here in texas Oh, I, I would say anywhere in the United States as, as, as a submission grappler, um, Hayward is so good. And, and he looks, it's, gonna, it's hard to tell. I mean, is he taking his time? Is he covering up? I mean, he's, and that's, that's the thing about, yeah. a, about a ground and powder. You know, with Kevin Holland, yeah, if he's, if he's in a submit you, he's in a submit you. If he doesn't find a submission, he's going to beat the living crap out of you. Yeah, and Hayward's doing good here. Shoot to the leg, get your head in tight. But look at the hips. Look at the hips of Kevin Holland. And the thing is, is, is that Kevin is striking, he's striking, he's striking. Yeah, he and wants, he Hayward wants, is not striking, he's, he's using jiu-jitsu, which is great. Yeah. But if you're not going to go for a submission, you have to strike as well. Yeah, or at least, or at least better your position. And, and Hayward doing the double butterfly punches. Hayward, you know, is just trying to, trying to do something, roll into something here, some type of submission attempt. The, the scary thing is this. When you're facing a guy like Hayward, and you're rolling, you're moving, he looks comfortable, he looks light, He's going to slip something, boom, that you're going to be like, how did that happen? That's exactly right. Because you're going to get overzealous. You're going to get overreactive. You're going to throw punches you shouldn't throw. And he's going to catch you. Yeah, and Hayward doing a good job here. Kevin's not going to let him up. Kevin's not going to let him up. And I tell you, if you're winning on the ground in the striking game, I don't know that you want to let Hayward up. And there are not a lot of smiles anymore between these guys. There's no you laughing. Know, there's nothing. That, this, is, this is a war. This is for the title, man. This is for the belt. Welterweight championship of the world. Or, excuse me, middleweight championship. 185 pounds, folks. Boy, Kevin is hauling his busy. What's, what's wearing out, I think, hybrid Charles right now are the punches. Not necessarily wrestling. No, 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 no. no. But it's the punches he's taking. Yeah, it, yeah it's the punches, wearing them out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's the punches, the pace. Oh, slap to the ear, boy. And I'll tell you what, that throws you loose. Yeah, and actually, Hayward's in a good position to rest right here. But he just didn't have the energy to try and go with a reversal. And, or and even, Kevin or even, just knows that he's – and they're talking to each other again. They're talking to each other again. And Kevin kind of knew that, you know, I'm, I'm wasting energy. I need to pick my punches now. And I hope that Kevin's doing it. I hope he's learning to – listen, well, just this, don't go for broke. Bro, this is a – I tell you, this is a learning experience for both these guys. Like you said, they're – they're facing, they're facing so oh. many, they're facing themselves in a lot of ways here. Kevin, you know, Kevin smells the, the, the stoppage. You know, the thing with, with Hayward Charles, you know, you're going to have to knock him out. It won't be so much a stoppage as it will, it's going to, you're going to have to put him away. And, and now you're going into, now, now he knows he's, he can make it out of this, he can go to the third round, get himself a 60 second break. And again. Oh, Hayward kind of busted up there. And there they go smiling again. They're having a good time.
They know what's on the line. I got news for you. But this is what they train for. I got news for you. Yeah. That ain't a good time. That ain't a good time. Well, they're smiling because I think they're like, holy shit, can you believe we made it to the third round? <laughs> That's why they're smiling. You know, I bet they're asking, can we get Muay Thai time and get a two-minute break in between? I, yeah, you know what? And I'd be, you know, I'd love to be able to give that to them because these guys are, they're, they're putting on, you know, I, I tell you what, I, you wanted to go the distance. I really didn't think it'd make it past the first round. Right, and right. it almost did. Here goes a replay right here. There are the elbows. There are the elbows. Hayward's like, you're gonna give me some elbows. Here's some hammer fists. Yeah, he's thinking about it, but he's like, no, maybe I better cover up. But but you know, and Kevin's missing. Not because he's not at knows how to be elusive at yes. the second. On the ground. And, because he, he, and he uses his body like an accordion. Right. And sometimes he's really tight and then he'll lengthen himself out so you can't touch him. Have you ever seen a fighter almost move too too early? Yes, exactly. He cover up. He's waiting, waiting, waiting. Yes. Then he moves, makes you miss. Yeah. He's, he, he, Tell you Look what. at these guys. They are tired, man. Yeah. They are exact. I, I mean, I mean, it's like two cobras. It's like two cobras, or cobra and a mongoose, if you will. Who you pick the cobra, you pick the mongoose. I can't tell you who's who right now. All I can tell you is you've got two world-class fighters that are just laying it all on the line. You know, the, and the cool thing is, is that Hayward is is being Hayward. He's doing Hayward. He's not trying to stand and bang with Kevin Holland. Nope. He's doing his game, and Kevin is like, okay, listen, you don't want to stand and bang. I get it. But guess what my other arsenal is? I can ground and pound, and I can roll. Yeah, yeah, and that, and that's what one things. I mean, makes. He's tickling his feet, man. He's oh tickling my his God. feet. Who tickles another man's feet in a He's fight? He's tickling his Who feet. Who tickles another man's feet in a fight? That Kevin Holland. <laughs> I don't you think. You crazy son of a gun. I don't think in all of. I don't think MMA Hayward's history. I don't think in, in no history of MMA. That's a first. Tickle another man's feet. Well, thank God it's not that's like a, collegiate wrestling in, in college when you put a thumb up a guy's asshole. Yeah. That's no bueno. No, that's not, you know, that's no, 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 bueno. no. Nobody likes the fox. No, 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 no. But that was, what the hell did we just But, see? you know, it, I'll tell you right now, you know, these they're laughing. They're having a good time. They're doing things that are out of the norm. But it's not like watching an all-star baseball game or all-star basketball game where, you know, you can be a little bit light. A little yeah, bit. yeah, you can be a little They're bit They're not light. doing that. No, no, it's, yeah, that's exactly right. They know it's for the title. Right. This is just who the hell they are. But this is one of the most entertaining hey, title fights hey, I've ever hey, seen. Hayward just said something to Kevin. I don't know what it was. Now, he's setting him up here. He's got a cross-arm choke where he's controlling the arm. If, if Kevin posters up with that choke. You can do a scissor choke from there. Oh, but, no. But, 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 but Hayward, Hayward just walked right into a full mount here. Yeah, and he knows what he did. He, you know, oh, Kevin's just got a little more gas in the tank. You know, from the judges' standpoint, first round, wow. Truly. Wow. I think the first round went to Hayward. I would give it to Hayward. But second and third is going to Kevin. Yeah, for He's sure. He's staying more active. He's staying more active. And, and, and Kevin's just looking for the finish here. No, and look, even... And he's saying he's done. No, and, and Hayward's like, the hell I am. I'm not done. He's like, I'm done. I'm done when the referee makes me done. And the referee may stop it here pretty quick. Yeah. Because Hayward's... Hayward said, I'm still, I'm still in the fight, man. Yeah, and I tell you what, Kevin should never do that. Kevin, just, you know what? You have respect for the guy. You got to finish him. Hayward is looking like they might stop this fight. Yeah, I think, I think, I think it's about over right here. My God, how does wow, how does tough Hayward, as hell. How if does, you're watching this and you go to Hayward School, your sensei, your coach is tough as hell. Hayward doesn't. Now yeah, that's and, one thing. And, and if I'm his coach, if I'm his, look at this. He, so much respect for Hayward. He says, "Look, will you just quit? I don't want to keep beating on you." And Hayward said, "I'm not going to quit, Kevin." Now, see, that's the thing that you don't want to do. You don't want to look up and talk to the ref and do his job for him. Your job is there to fight. Oh, and he did a butt bounce. I mean, this, that's a, this, is, this is elite shit right here. And, and at this point, I think the referee should stop it. This is my call. Go ahead and stop it. That's fight. the fight. That's the that's fight. The... And still, the XKO middleweight champion of the world and much heart to Hayward, the foundational player in XKO. Look, look, at, look, at, look Hayward. at the heart. Let me look just, at the heart of these two athletes. That that man right there 
And Hayward Charles is a flicking warrior, brother. And I can't wait to get in and talk to these guys. Now, we got to get Derwin out of there. we got to get Derwin out of there because... No, you can't do that, Derwin. Derwin's got to get out of there. You, you don't want to do hurt it. your fighter. It's one. always the your fighter. fighter one. It's the fighter and the referee's decision. No one else's. Fighter and the referee's decision. No one else's. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Bergy Still Wagner, has called the stop of the fight at three minutes, 34 seconds into round three. Your winner by stoppage, and still the XKO middleweight champion of the world, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. Ladies and gentlemen, your, your winner, Kevin Hoff. Listen, Kevin, um, I, I, I told Antonio, if it, doesn't make, if it makes it out of the first, because uh, I couldn't guarantee that. Nobody can guarantee that because you guys are such amazing fighters. Uh, that I hoped it went the distance because it was so much fun watching the two of you and the mutual respect where y'all talk shit. Listen, folks, I don't know if you caught it and if the replay can show it. Who the hell tickles another man's feet in an MMA fight? But, but Kevin, I mean, that, that's it. it, it that was, that was, a, that was a, you know, amazing. Hayward, a game warrior, one of the best, a grappling sensation, tough as nails, as we know. Kevin, I, I, I you know, know people think maybe it ought to have been stopped a little sooner, referees, discretion, whatever. At the end of the day, you got the win against a great fighter. Give me your thoughts, my friend. Uh, hey, hats off to Hayward. Um, not very many people say they're going to fight me and actually show up fight night, so hats off to Hayward. Um, I got a couple of sponsors I just want to go ahead and give a shout out to, guys. I'm not really feeling it today. Uh, Jim Ross Law Group, they've been here for a very long time helping me out. Jay Douglas and Roofing, I just went through a, I went through a last second fight pullout and James, my man over there, he didn't even trip. He was like, you know, it's not an issue. I'm just here to support you and to make sure you're good. I want to give a big shout out to Hydro Pros for coming through after Christmas. I really needed that. Um, the IV was fantastic and the new location is wonderful. Me, me and my stepfather, we did a great job putting up the electrical work. Um, shout out to Unity Counseling, Tidewell Auto, Top Notch Innovations, LLC. You know what, I'll, I'll give a bigger shout out on Facebook, but once again, hats off to Hayward, guys. I fight March 2nd for Bellator and uh, for those of you that really don't like bloody fights, I'm sorry for tonight. I'm sorry, guys. I got to go. Well, folks, well said. And, it, you know, we'll bring this up about Hayward real fast, his team, things of that nature. And I'll say this with Bellator, and I'll say it to UFC. We don't want to lose Kevin from XKO by any means. But if there's a guy, and I've said it before, if there's a guy that deserves to be in the UFC, not only for his talent, but his personality, his marketability. Kevin Holland is the man. He should be in the UFC, he should have a big ass contract, he should have a contract with Bellator, whatever the case. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I'm going to let uh, co-owner Chris Bussey talk a second. I want to say for Antonio and myself, thank you guys so much for coming out. Absolutely one of the best main events I've ever seen. Hayward Charles, one of the most amazing fighters I've ever personally known. One of the nicest guys, one of the most incredible athletes. Put on a hell of a fight. He, they asked him, you want to keep going? I mean, he wasn't going to quit. And he didn't quit. Heart of a warrior, heart of a champion. God bless you, man. It's so great to see that guy back here. God bless him. Uh, and, and again, all the fights tonight, the fighters. None of this is possible without the fans. Without y'all. And you make this event flicking effort. I mean, just epic as hell. Gas Monkey, Gas Monkey Live. Thank you for all your support, this venue, everything you do. We appreciate it, all the sponsors. To Mike Bussey, Thomas Bussey, Chris Bussey. Thank you so much for your vision and continue to do what you do to my partner, the sexiest voice and sexiest man in all of uh, commentating. Well, sexiest voice, sexiest man it goes to me. To our Hooters Ring Girls, ladies, thank you so much. Chris, take us on out of here, please. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining us right here at Gas Monkey Live. Log in, register at extremeknockout.com. Be a part of the action. Right, we'll be back here, XKO 40, March 10th. You don't want to miss it. And that's what we're all here uh, doing for XKO is promoting these fighters, giving them to a level so they can take it to the next level. We're the number one promotion in Texas. We're going to continue to do so. We've got a lot of events coming up, so stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming out and supporting us. We can't do it without you guys and, of course, all of our sponsors. We're here for the fighters, and uh, we can't wait for the next one. Thank you, Swagit, for doing this. Second event we've ever broadcast live. I think we did a hell of a job, so... Thank you all. Again, my name's Chris Busty, one of the owners, promoters. Have a safe night. Enjoy yourselves and be 